According to House Republicans, they're saying that former CIA Deputy Director Mike Morrell gave them new information about the origins of a letter from 50 former intelligence officials concerning Hunter Biden's laptop. Thankfully, CBS failed to mention that the New York Post was suspended from Twitter and that the laptop wasn't a Russian plant and that Twitter never suspends accounts when they hack material about Republicans. <laughs> I mean, details. Days after the laptop story, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, then a Biden campaign advisor, reached out to Morrell and set in motion the events that led to the intelligence officials' public statement. If they made an effort to manipulate intelligence officials to sign a letter uh, basically uh, misleading the public about the Hunter Biden laptop right before the election, that is a major, major political event. Why are Republicans assuming the worst? I mean, those things are just right-wing conspiracies that come true. Which is why the media needs to work hand-in-hand -hand with the Democratic Party to suppress information, to preserve our democracy, and make sure there's no tyranny or fascism. Republicans just need to learn to trust these institutions. I mean, it's not like politics is getting in the way of these investigations. This comes after an IRS agent came forward this week alleging the investigation involving Hunter Biden's taxes has been improperly influenced for political reasons. 